Hello, let's bring you back. Right, these videos of me and the bass is really for um, my record. Uh, basically, starting all over again at the beginning. Uh, but I've made it really difficult for myself by um, using a fretless bass. Uh, I've always played fretted bass and going to a fretless is, is quite a, a big challenge. Um, the notes are not in the same place as a fretted bass. Um, they're about half a fret out uh, for a human being like me. If you're a really good bass player, they're probably only about a quarter to an eighth of a fret out um, if you played right in the first place, which I never did. So, yeah, it's a really big challenge. I'm struggling. I haven't played, like I said before, for the best part of two years. And because my brain's uh, not wired the same way as it used to be, um, I'm pretty much almost like learning from scratch. Um, I was never the best bass player in the world, but I was good enough to do gigs and record stuff, but that that's it. Um, anyway, so... This is my record for myself of how and if I progress with the fretless to a standard that I was at before on the fretted bass. Um, every time I pick it up and play it, it does get easier, obviously, but I need to play it a lot. So I'm just keeping a record. Um, so this is just me, me noodling through uh an old rush song from 1974 it's called what you're doing uh this song i could play without even looking for years and years and years at least for the last 10 years where i've been predominantly playing bass and for the last 40 odd years where i've been playing drums or bass or whatever this song i could just play completely robotically without even thinking about it all the way through um, and now I'm really struggling. So anyway, that's the boring intro. Um, so really, it's just for me to look on and to see if, say, in a week's time, I'm getting any better. So peace and love. This is uh, me noodling on Rush, what you're doing, bass part, as performed by Les Dawson. Peace and love.
bring it back, just playing around with the amp. I've uh, deleted the top guitar one, decided to use two channels of the PA experiment. Um, and obviously still learning to play again. I, uh, if you know that song, you'll know those weren't all the right notes in the right order. Peace and love, I'll be springy. See you soon. All right, thanks for watching, if you did. And by the way, the sound, it's supposed to sound distorted and with a phaser effect on it because I had the distortion and the phaser effect um, on my pedals. And that's just to make it more interesting to me while I'm playing. I could have it just normal thumpy bass, but it's really boring on your own if you've got no effects on it. So thanks for watching. Peace and love. Hopefully I'll get better every day. Um, we'll see what happens. Cheers.